In this video, we're going to look at how to solve for covariance using an example with stack returns. Covariance is a measure of co-movements between two variables. If the two variables move together, stack A and stack B tend to go up together or down together, for example, the covariance is positive. If two variables move in opposite directions, the covariance is negative. And if the movements in the two variables are independent of each other, covariance is zero. Covariance is difficult to interpret because it is not a unitless measure. If you're measuring your variables in dollars versus euros or percentage terms versus decimals, you'll get a different value for your, co uh, for your covariance. This is not true for the correlation coefficient, but I'll talk about that in another video. Here is the formula for the sample covariance. It looks a little bit complicated, but I'll show how to use this uh, in the next couple of slides. So x subscript i is the value of x for observation i. y subscript i is the value of y for observation i. x bar in the formula is the mean or average variable of x. And y bar is the mean or average variable of y and n is the number of observations. So here is our example that we're going to look at. We're going to calculate the covariance between stock X and stock Y. We've got their quarterly returns here, 4%, 2%, and so on. So here is the table to show that calculation. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the mean value for stock X. 4 plus 2 plus 5 minus 2 and divide by 4 and we get 2.25 likewise the mean value for y this is going to be the y bar where 2.25 is the x bar in the formula we add up these values here and we get 16 divided by 4 we get 4 the next step is to take the observation and subtract it from its mean value so 4 minus 2.25 is where this 1.75 is coming from. 2 minus 2.25 is where this minus 0 0.25 is coming from. So it's just the observation x minus the mean value of x, the x bar, or the 2.25. So we do that to complete this column. In the next column where we have the y minus mean of y, we're going to take 6 minus 4 to get 2. We're going to take 3 minus 4 to get minus 1, 7 minus 4 to get 3, and 0 minus 4 to get minus 4. So it's just observation y minus its mean value. And then in the next step, or this last column, I'm just going to multiply the last two t columns together. So 1.75 times 2 is 3.5 minus 0 0.25 times minus 1 is positive 0 0.25 and so on. The last thing I do in this column is I just sum up all these values from 3.5 to 17 and we get a summation of 29. Using the formula then, our numerator is 29 and you can see how we calculated that. And then in the denominator we have four observations, minus 1, so you're going to get 29 divided by 3, or a covariance of 9.67. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.